A new rumour has popped up regarding what led to Meghan leaving the UK before Megxit happened. According to Markle News on Instagram, Her Late Majesty the Queen might have had a hand in kicking her rogue granddaughter-in-law out of the country. So the story goes that before Megxit, the Queen had called for an audience with Meghan. Now, the one thing you don't do is decline an invitation from the monarch. It doesn't matter if it's the Queen or now King of England, who happens to be your grandmother or parent, as Charles is to Harry. Regarding Meghan, the Queen is her grandmother-in-law, who has more power than Meghan would ever dream of having. Markle had an alleged scheduled meeting with Her Majesty, which she cancelled because she had to put in an appearance at one of her patronages. The aides immediately told the Queen and sent for her. Again, Meghan declined. This occurred after Meghan had been caught by Prince William taking photos of his daughter Princess Charlotte while she was asleep. Also, Catherine allegedly discovered there was jewellery missing. The rumour also states that Meghan was still being sent expensive presents when she was told that royals don't accept freebies. When the aides discovered that Meghan was headed for a meeting, they rang the patronage and shut the meeting down. When Markle arrived, no one was there to greet her and she threw a whopper of a tantrum. The best bit? When the aides rang the patronage, they told them it was on order of the Queen. Her Majesty's security people were there to pick Meghan up in which she allegedly screamed, get your hands off me, I'm the Duchess, when they tried to get her into the car. Meghan has exposed herself one too many times as a narcissist. If this story is accurate, we can see this happening. Why? Because if you watch some of her horrible acting roles, her true personality sometimes shines through. As the Royal Grift says a lot, Markle is a one-trick pony. She doesn't know how to act outside of being herself. That's why her roles in Suits and those two Hallmark movies were always the same character. They were all women looking for love. It was a recycled version of Rachel Zane. Inside the car was Meghan's luggage and Prince Edward and Sophie Countess of Wessex. They'd been sent to ensure Markle got on the plane at RAF Marm. The Instagram post says RAF Norfolk. So the couple had been sure she was comfortable before the aircraft took off for Canada. It's been reported, as per the Daily Mail, that Harry is demanding an apology from Meghan. This isn't a rumour, as he said in one of the promotional interviews for his memoir Spare, that he wants his family to apologise to Meghan. His wording is as follows. You know what you did, and now I know what you did, and you've been caught out, so just come clean. The sending Meghan back to Canada thing was why Harry wanted an apology. Moreover, Meghan being shipped to Canada is why Harry showed up to the now infamous Sandringham Summit on his own, and why his wife couldn't call in for the meeting. Royal commentator Jonathan Sacerdoti stated that the pair would be open to talks with King Charles to mend the relationship, but he cautioned that they would encounter strong opposition due to their jabs at the royal family. I think Harry and Meghan have said they're expecting an apology, but I think there aren't many people who agree that it's due that way round, he said. Some of the individuals within Spare, the King, the Queen and the Prince of Wales, all come out of that book so badly, they're so broadly criticised by Harry, so nastily criticised in sections, that I think they could be feeling very sore about this, he said.